described as the lungs of our ocean. They're not just pretty to look at, but they protect our beautiful coastlines from storm surge and erosion. And as we celebrate Earth, Amanda Holly talked with a local organization working to save our reefs. Good morning, Amanda. Good morning, Avery. Yeah, these reefs provide habitats for over 4,000 species of fish, not to mention all the money they bring in with tourism. But sadly, they're dying at an alarming rate. Roughly 40% of the globe's reefs are already extinct, and as they continue to die off, we'll lose more fish habitats. But there's hope. So my name's Shelby Thomas. I'm the CEO and Director of Research for the Ocean Rescue Alliance, and we're a marine conservation and restoration nonprofit organization that implements innovative techniques to restore our marine environments. Her organization creates these amazing structures from ocean-safe materials. They serve as artificial reefs, and ordinary people can help design them to enhance their connection to the underwater environment. We are using the latest and greatest technology, such as 3D scanning and virtual reality, to be able to take any type of image or art theme idea and create it into a reef. So now we can create these really unique sites that engage the local community and bring awareness, but they're also very important for our marine habitat. The structures provide homes for fish and a base for coral growth. Using a patented coral lock, they increase the efficiency of planting corals right onto the structures. We're able to grow corals with coral restoration practitioners like the Coral Restoration Foundation, Florida Aquarium, Seacor International, Moat Marine Laboratories to grow these corals on these plugs, and now we're able to just simply screw them in to different receivers. From plaques to sculptures, their beauty may be the key to a healthy ocean. The Ocean Rescue Alliance has approval from Hernando and Pasco County to place these artificial coral reefs off our coast, and you can be a part of it. If you want to design a unique monument, I've placed a link with all the details on WFLA.com. Thank you, Amanda.